Hi everyone and welcome to a video on how to create a stream starting soon placeholder animation using magic particles. In this lesson we'll learn step by step the basics of how to create this eye-catching scene using Adobe After Effects. So the first thing we'll need before we get started is a stream overlay. Luckily for us, Envato Tuts Plus has provided us with a few tutorials that teach us exactly how to do just that. In this video, we'll be using an overlay with the techniques found in this particular tutorial by Daisy Ein. Check it out in the description below. So once you've created your overlay design, it's time to download the particle effects. We'll get these ready-made effects from the Envato website by typing in elements.envato.com. Upon entering this website, you'll be greeted with some examples of digital assets that you'll have access to and some options to choose from here. We've got graphics, video, audio, presentation templates, photos, and more. You can see the full list at the top menu here in the browse button. To download these assets, first we need to make an account. Signing up is a straightforward process which you can start by clicking on the top right button on the website. Once you've done that, click on the drop down menu next to the search bar here and under the stock video category, we're going to type in magic particles. And then once you've done that, click on the search button. Awesome. In this results page, you can see that Envato Elements has a large range of particle effects that we can choose from to use for our video. One of the useful things that we can do here is to preview each video thumbnail by hovering over each one with our mouse. You can then click on the thumbnail here to get an even bigger preview. So let's go ahead and click on this one here. And now you can see we can click on the play button to preview our magic particles. Great. Now for this tutorial, we're going to use magic particles, but feel free to use any of the videos in the store. Once you've downloaded that, we'll head into After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition and then choose the resolution that you want to work with. So for this tutorial, we're going to work with 1920 by 1080 and we'll leave it at the default frame rate of 30 frames per second. And we want to choose a duration of 30 seconds. Once you've done that, click OK. And then next, we'll import the files that we need. So first, let's go ahead and import the magic particle files by going to File, Import, File and then choosing the video file from Magic Particles that you want to use. So let's go ahead and choose number two for this example here and click import. And you'll see it appearing in the project panel here. So you can see we've got our comp and we've also got the video file here as well. Now some stock videos might come in a zip file. So you might need to extract them first before you can go to this step. Now, if we take a look at the project panel again, you'll see that we've got our chosen file here. And all we need to do is just drag this into our comp like so. And now you'll see in our preview panel here, we've got our magic particles that we can preview by scrubbing backwards and forwards in our timeline like so. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and do exactly the same with our overlay. So let's go to File, Import, File, and go to your overlay file, select it, and then click Import. And then all we need to do from here is just drag the overlay file from our project panel into our comp panel, like so. Excellent. And now you'll see we've got our overlay successfully imported and on top of our magic particles. Now make sure that the overlay layer is on top of the movie layer. Otherwise, you won't see your overlay because the movie layer is on top 
of the overlay layer. So just make sure this is on top, like so. And now if you play the preview button here, you'll see we've got these nice magic particles playing in the background whilst we've got our overlay on top, like so. Excellent. Now sometimes you might need to do a little bit of adjustment to the video or the overlay layer in order to fit your composition. Now to do this, we need to open up the layer. So let's say we want to change the overlay layer. Let's go over here, open it up, open up transform. And here we've got some options that we can use to adjust our overlay. Now we can do things like changing the position like so by just clicking and dragging these values here to change the position of our overlay in our composition. We can also change the scale of our overlay like so. So we've, here we've got a percentage value here that we can use. And then next we can rotate our overlay layer like so. And we can even change the opacity of our overlay like so. Now the same can be done for the movie file as well if you want to change the size of the movie file. So just open it up and use the transform options to do your edits. Awesome! And there you have it. We've successfully combined our magic particle stock footage with our overlay. Now the final thing to do here is to just click on the play preview button again just to check to see if you like the look of it before you render your new stream starting soon video. Now in order to render your video go to file, go to export and then click add to render queue and then here you'll find some options that you can use to change the rendering settings of your video. So just make sure you've got the settings that you want, including the size of the video. And also you want to make sure that you're using the right format for your video as well. So for this particular example, we're just going to render our video as an AVI movie and then click OK. Click here next to Output 2 to specify the location of where you want to save your file and then click on the render button here to render your video. Awesome! Now these assets can also be used on other popular streaming software such as Streamlabs OBS. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that over here. So once we've opened up Streamlabs OBS, just click on the add new source button here and then we want to add a media source, click on add source Choose a name for your media source, add source again, and then click on the browse button to choose your magic particles video. Choose one of these, click on open, make sure to click on the loop button here and anything else that you want to choose for your stream, click on done. And then we want to change the size of the video to fit our stream. Next, we want to add our overlay. So click on the add source here again, click on image, click add source, and we want to add a new source instead. So click on this button here, choose a name for your overlay, click add source, browse to the location of your overlay like so, click open, and then click done. And again, you want to resize your overlay so that it fits your video. Excellent. And that's it for this tutorial. Have fun creating your own stream starting soon placeholder animations. And I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.